Hi folks, today I have for us footage of a brand new Froder and his friend, proving that they're not for the First Amendment, but for clicks and views. But before we start today's video, as always, a big thank you to all current and new members and subscribers to the channel. Without your guys' continuous ongoing support, I couldn't keep the channel going, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you guys for me, please subscribe to the page, leave a like and a comment because it really helps me with the algorithm. And if you can, start becoming a member. With all that being said, let's enjoy today's video. What's good, guys? We're going to be exercising our First Amendment today. All right, guys, let's get into it. Wow, I mean, I just feel so protected with this asshat protecting our rights. This guy calls himself First Amendment Kevin. And besides being a Kevin, he really doesn't have anything of substance. He only has 11 subscribers and two videos. This one and a recent one of him saying he's going to educate people on, his, on their rights, which I'll be covering on a later date. However, as we're about to see, this guy knows nothing about being an auditor and only about being a pest and a criminal. One eternity later. Wow, this guy is such a great auditor. I mean, this is like this is like one of the best audits I've ever seen. Said no one ever. This guy is just being a creep. He's wearing a mask. He's wearing sunglasses, a hoodie, everything to hide who he truly is. You know, most First Amendment auditors want people to know who they are because they are dying for the attention. But this guy, he, he's just being a creep. Not to mention, do you remember what his buddy was doing with the pepper spray in the beginning of this video? Pay attention to that because it's going to make an appearance real quick. Thank you. 
think back it's up, funny? Back up, buddy. Back oh, up. You can back the fuck up. Miss bitch. Ah. Come, come over here. You can back the fuck up. Spray, dude. You missed. Oh, yeah. Don't ah, come up close to us. I'll call the cops, buddy. Yes, please do call the cops because you're not going to get the response that you think you are. This video shows that you have violated the self defense laws for Delaware because this is where it does take place in Delaware and it states in subsection 464 that. The use of force upon or towards another person is justified when the defendant reasonably believes that such force is immediately necessary for the purpose of protecting the defendant against the use of unlawful force by the other person on this precise occasion. Since you went onto his property and you guys were the aggressors and antagonizing him, and he's warned you to leave, and you continue to antagonize him as he has done so, your use of force will be not claimed as self-defense, but could get you an assault charge or possibly a battery charge or aggravated battery or aggravated assault charge with a weapon. You came and tried to harass us. We're in public. We're, We're in public, record. buddy. The fuck we want to record. Show me some more. I want you to. Everything is being recorded. You get him to try to spray me with pepper spray? Hey, get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. And Just threat just threaten me and try to assault me. He got a nice face full of spice. Shenanigans. Na 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 na. Shenanigans. Na 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 na. And we're gonna have to call some shenanigans here. Yes, he did make the claims of he would knock the phone out of your hand, but he didn't threaten to assault you. You're the one who actually assaulted him. When you pulled the pepper spray out, when you had the opportunity to retreat, when you had the opportunity to get away and de-escalate de the situation, you continued to provoke it. And, well, with this video evidence and the evidence in the beginning of the video where you showed your friend playing with the can of pepper spray that you were going to use, knowing that this was your biggest outcome, I would still have to call shenanigans because you're the one in the wrong here. company and everything. I just try to <clears throat> harass us for no fucking reason. I should let him get more closer. So I could get get him right in the eye. You should let him out. Should let him you get closer. Oh, 
cool with the black dude. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, these people are crazy, man. It's a roofing company. Yo, he was he tried to ram me over. You saw it? I knew I knew that was coming. Dramatization may not have happened. Come back. Alright, alright. Go to the car. Come to this side. Oh, that's a dead end. Oh, that's a dead end, I think. Right. Fuck the place. And we're going to end it here. This guy doesn't find the car he was trying to chase down, even though my personal beliefs are the car didn't try to strike him. I think he was just walking in the road and saw his opportunity to overact and took it. Well, if you guys like this video, please like, share, subscribe, leave a thumbs up and a comment because it helps with the algorithm. And if you can, please consider becoming a member. With all that being said, be well, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. And a special thank you to all members of the news team. Without your guys' continuous, ongoing support, I couldn't keep the channel going. So I want to personally thank you from the bottom of my heart.